Adrian, where are you? Adrian, I can't see you. Ah! <laughs> Good morning guys. So today Isla has an appointment with a dietitian. Um, you guys don't really know, I don't think I've really talked about it too much, um, but Isla is tiny, okay? And all this time that I've just been thinking that she's just being a little diva and not wanting to eat much, um, she's actually been diagnosed with something called oral aversion. So she's really picky with certain types of textures. Like she really, has been living off of Pediasure and crackers and fruit. And other than that, like we have offered her so many different kinds of food. We offer her meat, we have offer her vegetables. It all ends up on the floor. Um, I feel like I've wasted so much food just trying to offer it to her only for her to just like, she'll literally touch it, look at it and then throw it. Sometimes she doesn't even look at it. She just grabs it and then she just throws it. And I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do with you? I offer her rice. Rice, guys, we are Filipino. What Filipino baby doesn't like rice? My Filipino baby. And so, finally, the doctor, doctors are just like thinking that she needs to get a little help um, in the food aspect because she is so tiny. She's, she's like not even on the growth chart. And mind you, all my kids are small, um, and both the boys went through a period where they weren't on the growth chart, but a little bit of Pediasure after a few months helped like boost them right back up, and they would, like, they would eat food, like they would eat whatever I offered them. So with Isla, it's like a whole different task. It's a whole different challenge with her just because she is really particular with textures. She loves crunchy foods. So I figured it was just because she was teething because she had like seven teeth come in all at once. Um, but yeah, it hasn't changed. Like she doesn't even like mushy things. She used to love those like veggie and fruit snack pouches. She hates it now. Like she doesn't even, she like gets mad. It's like she gets offended that I'm even offering her something so yummy. Um, she's such a little weirdo. So today she has an appointment with another dietitian. Um, she had an appointment last week with the GI doctor, who's the one who diagnosed her with oral aversion. Also said that it could be due to allergies, like to food allergies. So um, she's gonna have to get blood drawn today. I had to get a sample of her poop today and we're bringing that. Right now her poop is in the freezer. And um, yeah, so I guess we're just gonna see. And then we have a referral for oral therapy. So it's not necessarily speech therapy, but it's oral therapy and um, it's gonna, they're gonna, I guess, teach her how to get used to different textures being in her mouth. Cause yeah, she just doesn't. She's averting them. She's averting all textures. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, so we're gonna get ready here in a little bit. Her appointment is in a couple hours or so. Um, and then I guess, yeah, we'll just see where it goes from there. Um, I'm hoping it's not food allergies. like. So you guys know that she has eczema. Uh, when we took her to the dermatologist, he said the kind of eczema that she has, it's not, um, it's more common. It's like, it's usually seen um, with allergies to like environment. It's not necessarily food, but now the GI doctor said it's actually like 50-50 chance that it could be food. So now we're gonna get her tested for food allergies and see if that has anything to do with it. Um, but yeah, other than that, like we literally offer her everything and all she eats are crunchy foods like crackers and cereal. Like she loves corn pops and the honey nut Cheerios. And yeah, and just like certain fruits. So we'll see. I don't know, guys. <sighs> She's so high maintenance already, but anything for our baby girl. Hi, Isla. Are we going to go to the doctor today? Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be mad at me because you're going to get poked. You're going to get poked. Peekaboo. <laughs> Little Miss Flexible. Raph just got home from work. What up? And this is what he brings us. We're so spoiled. I cannot wait. I've been needing ice cream. Like, I need it. I want onion too. And an onion. <laughs> so he got all of this and an onions. A couple onions. Oh, princess, come here. Da, 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 da. Wait, give her to daddy. Da, 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 da. Isn't that funny? <laughs> you guys deserve it. You guys helped me clean this whole house Good just job. now. Thank you, boys. They were sweeping. They put all their toys Good away. Job. Oh my gosh, I feel like I can breathe again. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
Oh. She had her blood drawn today. Oh, how was that? She was tortured. Did I mean, actually, no. The guy did really good. He only did it one chance, one try. Did it hurt? Did she cry? She cried the whole time. Oh, princess! Should I shave my face yet? Are you doing that, babe? Are you doing a no shave November? Mom, can you have the me? No, no, no! You're gonna have dinner first, buddy. You know you have to have dinner first before. You know this. Mom, you want to hide me now. But what? are you going to cry? I want ice cream. You can have ice cream after dinner, okay? But not after dinner. I want it now, now. You've been whining so much today. Yeah, don't can do you please that. stop? If you want ice cream, then you're going to have to wait till after dinner. Otherwise, if you whine, then no dinner. Or, and I mean, no ice cream at all. Excuse me? What do you do? He slammed the cabinet. Adrian? Say sorry right now or you go to your room and sleep. Go to your room and sleep then. Adrian? Come here. Go to your room. Nope. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Stop. Stop right now. Adrian, do you hear me? You need to stop. You cannot have ice cream yet. You need to eat dinner first. That is the rule. Can you stop crying? Okay. You need to stop crying though. Hey, say sorry to mommy too. Don't you slam doors like that? You don't slam, you don't slam cabinets. That's not okay. What? For dinner, babe. Tonight, having a Filipino dinner, an easy Filipino dinner. Um, it's just corn beef. Corn beef. Corn beef. With uh, onions and garlic and rice. Wait, garlic? Yeah. Am I gonna have some garlic? Hey, dude, come here. Hey, hey, get up there, get up there. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, get up, princess. Go this way, okay? Out of all these areas, little kid. You too. Where are you going?
think for now, we're gonna wait till it kind of gets darker. Okay, time to eat. Sit down, please. We're having corned beef while this girl is eating her teething crackers because she won't even touch the corned beef. Is that good? Yummy? That one, the green. Okay, thank you. What'd you do? What'd you do? Hey, look. for kids who are happy. Yeah. Not for whiners, not for grumpy right, kids. If you're gonna act like that, I'm just gonna say no to, no to ice cream. <gasps> and then we're gonna, are you gonna waste change the your ice cream. mood? You better change your mood so you can have ice cream. No, I will help you cook. Yeah, you're okay. gonna help me cook, but, but change, change your mood first. Can I help too? Yeah, change your yes. mood. You gonna change your mood? Let me see a smile. I gotta see it before you can help me. Ready, set, smile. Come on, Ro! You can smile! Come on, Adrian! Oh, oh wow, my he gosh. is stone cold. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Seriously. Seriously. You know I need you to change your mood before Dude, you do this. Not gonna, I'm not, I don't. Change your mood. Okay, ready? Or do you need, do I need to spin you? Is that what happened? I forgot to spin you, huh? Oh, that no wonder. I forgot to spin him, you guys. Ready, set, <laughs> spin, there he is, yay! Why do I have to spin you, you're, already, you're not even grumpy. I'm gonna spin you outside, come here. That was, that's also one of our tricks to get these guys to change your mood. Look, Kuya, you need to change your mood. I'm gonna spin you, by the time you turn around, you better have a happy face. One, two, three. Mommy! <laughs> come on, babe, I'm gonna spin you. Ready? One, <laughs> two, three. Spin around. Spin around, Daddy. Ah! <laughs> I, uh... He's like, what is going on? He's like, I'm just happy already. Ow, what, what uh, I need to spin you. Yippee yeah! Yippee yeah! Yippee yeah! Yes, spin you. Okay, you happy? So Austin and Adrian were singing this fabulous song on the way home, but Adrian doesn't want to sing it right now. It's just gonna be Austin, but this is Austin's original song. I got a mom and daddy. We are a beautiful family. Together, together, together. <laughs> Good job.